questions other than that third quarter or see like Alpha is going to find consistent traction with the yeah, I'm going to have to dive into the film on that. Um, you know, in the first half, uh, you know, we just had a lot of uncharacteristic uh, um, offensive possessions. And look, you do have to credit them. They came out with, with great energy. Um, we did not really work possessions. You know, it would basically, we had a lot of uh, one pass, zero pass, uh, quick shots that kind of fed into their momentum um, and weren't totally intentional, you know, where we were getting the ball and, and we paid the price for that. Uh, and then it was just a, a series of, of some quick shots, maybe some, uh, you know, some tough shots, contested shots, uh, and then guys getting out of rhythm uh, and it was tough to get back into the flow. Now, with that said, uh, you know, it still ended up being, you know, a possession game uh, at the end of the third quarter. And then um, our offense was much more functional uh, and then they just they just uh, you know took control of the fourth quarter um, on both ends of the court. Obviously, Joel Embiid is Joel Embiid. Um, how great do you think his impact was as far as on both ends of the court and just his size and presence? Yeah, he's a big impact. Uh, you know, this is uh, you know what you have to expect. Um, you know, he's an MVP caliber caliber player. He's also you know usually in the the running for Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, you know, you have to be very intentional uh, on both ends. Uh, uh, we're not expecting it uh, to be easy. They were, you know, a very good team all year. So were we. Um, we were expecting uh, him to be available, you know, all series. And um, we'll just have to, to figure it out. There was much made about Joel being away for a week and conditioning all that. But how is away for two weeks? I mean, can you see a player who needs to regain his legs and get back in sync with the game? After it's a nice performance. Yeah, but I, I love his, his warrior spirit uh, and everything. There, there's so many things uh, that happen during the playoffs that uh, are not exactly how you you, you want it to, to play out. You're, you're not going to have perfect, um, you know, setups or uh, a perfect ramp up and, and all that, uh, but we need him. Uh, and so he was able to get this game under his belt. He has such... Uh, a long decorated uh, playoff career, uh, we do need that, particularly on, on the road. And, um, you know, th that first uh, game, I think uh, he'll be in much better rhythm. Tom has talked about physicality. I know you asked the question to his question pregame and playoffs and how you need to be that way. Do you feel that they had that edge? And do you yeah. expect this series maybe to remain this gritty style now going forward? Probably. You know, the, um, you know, they have a uh, great size, obviously, with uh, Embiid. Um, I think they, they beat us to a lot of, of those hustle plays and 50-50 plays in the first half. Uh, Tuck actually, you know, kept that conversation open, you know, a, a lot of his plays. But other than, other than Tuck, I think we we're getting beat uh, first to the ball, you know, too often tonight. A little bit of everything, you know, yeah, you know, at home, guys are a little bit more comfortable. You can't ever expect Danny Green, you know, to, uh, you know, stay like that, like how it was in Miami. Uh, he's a great shooter. Um, he did get some some good looks early, you know, and that always can change the complexion of things for a shooter. Uh, and then we just didn't, you know, make those extra efforts, uh, you know, to get him off that three-point line. Uh you know, at the end of the day, defensively, we did have some mistakes. Uh, we, you know, got, uh, you know, some easy ones in, in transition, you know, those relief points, uh, and then some of those open threes. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, defensively, I think that's, that's what you can hope to expect on the road offensively, um, but it is very poor. Um, I don't know, you know, uh, Bam has a ton of responsibilities for us. Uh, so offensively, uh, it's not about like necessarily what his final number is on that box score, whether he's scoring or not. Uh, you know, when we're flowing, uh, and at our best offensively, uh, you know, everybody's a live option. Bam is able to make a, a lot of different reads and, and, and be a, a scorer, facilitator, pick and roll guy. 
all of those things. I just don't think we got to uh, the necessary layers of our offense. And, and again, you have to credit Philly for, for getting us out of that uh, early. Um, and then we had some self-inflicted you know, wounds offensively where we weren't really uh, playing intentionally, and, and we paid the price for that. How do you think uh, your team adjusted to the new rebounding dynamic with Joel out there in terms of their game rebounding, that sort of thing? How do you feel like you're yeah, again, like those big muscle 50-50 areas, I think uh, overall, other than Tuck, you take Tuck out of the equation, uh, they won those battles tonight. Okay, thank you.